Hello, I'm Spade. Today I'd like to share another resource that I've found really useful. I want to talk about the mouse. This here is a comprehensive guide on mouse optimization for Counter-Strike Source. Now, really, it talks a lot about using your mouse in conjunction with your OS and your mouse drivers, and it's useful for Counter-Strike Go as well. Someone left this link in the comments to one of my earlier videos, and it's just seems to be to be one of the most comprehensive and useful explanatory guides on how to get your mouse set up properly to play. One of the main issues that people have with the mouse is something called mouse acceleration, which basically means if you move your mouse, say three inches on your mouse pad, it, it will move your view differently in-game based on the speed you move your mouse. So if you go three inches really quickly, you'll you'll look 180 degrees or maybe more, and if you move three inches slowly, you'll maybe only move 20 degrees or 30 degrees. And obviously this is bad for muscle memory because you want your hand to learn how to go to various points on the screen. And so it becomes reaction and, and, and not something that you have to consciously think about. You get quicker, you get more accurate. Basically, he splits it into basic optimization, advanced optimization, and the basic stuff is all stuff that I've, I've done. And one of the surprising things to me was he says you really shouldn't have your mouse custom mouse drivers installed because generally speaking they'll have some sort of mouse optimization or some sort of interference between the signals coming from your mouse and the way it's interpreted by the game. And the more you put in between your mouse and the game, generally speaking, the more chance you have for something to mess with the input. So this is a fairly comprehensive guide on how to figure out where your mouse is at, how to overclock the port so the mouse update rate is faster and you get you know, a smoother response in-game from your USB port or your PS2 port. Uh, it, it goes through a bunch of basic stuff and it goes through some really advanced stuff too, including unscrewing your mouse, taking parts out and taking out some weights and things that I really haven't messed with. One other thing I want to share today is that I, I'm, I'm traveling and so I'm on a Mac, as you can probably tell. I've got my work laptop with me and I, I, brought, my, I brought my mouse and, you know, in case I'd have a little bit of time to play a little global offensive in between, uh, you know, what I'm doing for work. But I found out pretty quickly that Mac OS X comes with some pretty wicked mouse acceleration built in. So I, I poked around a little bit, and there's a couple of ways you can get rid of it. There is a console command, so you can pull up the terminal in your Mac, and you can type in a line of code that just gets rid of mouse acceleration. But mm, some people, including myself, would really rather have kind of a graphical user interface, and you know, if I don't have to go into the guts of it, I'd rather not. There is this tool, and I'll link to this and the mouse guide in the comments on the video. Uh, there is this mouse guide here that we're looking at now, or this mouse uh, tool that will pretty quickly allow you to turn off or, or rather customize uh, your mouse acceleration. So it just shows up in your preferences pane uh, once you, okay, apparently, there we go. And um, you can just say here I have it set to 1.0x, which basically means do nothing. Um, and I think, oh, this would be interesting. Is it the same as in Windows? One, two, three, four, five, six, no. In Windows, it's six out of 10, it's right in the middle. And uh, clearly we have more, more ticks here. But after doing this, uh, it, it is, seems to have neutralized the mouse acceleration completely, uh, which is pretty fantastic if you're trying to play some games. So those are two neat resources that I've found uh, recently and thought might be useful. Uh, as before, if you found this video useful, please give a like and I'll know to do more. And uh, hope it's helpful. Spade out.